Well, hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. I hope you've all been doing well. So if you're like me and you've kind of been stuck at home lately, I hope you guys have been keeping yourselves busy, um, finding things to do. I've had a lot of time on my hands, so I'm trying to use that time to film videos for you guys uh, and kind of get ahead of schedule a little bit. Um, today, we are asking, will they text you back or call you back or will you hear from your person of interest? Um, so we have four piles of cards here to choose from. Pile number one, we've got this lovely piece of fluorite here. For pile number two, we have blue calcite. Pile number three is clear quartz. And for pile number four, we have bloodstone. So while you guys are making your choices, I just want to say um, all of my links are in the description below, and there will also be some in the pinned comment. The timestamps will be in the pinned comment as well, like they always are. Um, I'm on Instagram at Serpentine Daughter. Follow me there to get pretty regular updates from me. I also offer private readings. You can order one through my Etsy store or my personal website. All of those links will be down below. We are very, very close to 20,000 subscribers right now, and I'm very excited about that. Um, I think I mentioned this before, but once we get to 20,000, I'm going to be doing a deck giveaway. I have an Oracle deck that I don't use a lot anymore, and I've been feeling really led to give it to someone. So that's my plan for when we hit 20,000 subs. Um, so with all of that said, I think we're just going to jump into this with... Pile number one, all right, pile one, will your person text you back, call you back, will you hear from them, and if so, approximately when? Okay, so we're going to start with your tarot cards. We have here the Seven of Swords the Knight of Wands, King of Cups, and Queen of Wands. Your Oracle cards, we've got Luck is on your side. We have the Success card. We have this card which says, Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. We also have the unrequited love card and the new life card reversed. All right. So give me a second here, guys, to look at these cards. Hmm. Okay. The first thing that I'm getting, uh, first of all, I want to say yes. I think you guys more than likely will be hearing from this person again. Um, I mean, we have the success card here. This is a really big, like, yes. This is a really good indicator that um, something that you may be hoping for or something that you're trying to make happen will be successful, that will be achieved. Now, if you're hoping not to hear from this person, um, this may not be your pile, but uh, I feel for most of you, this person is going to show up again in your life. Um, hmm. I feel many of you, you know, obviously, if you're watching this, you're probably not uh, in contact with this person or you have a limited contact with this person right now. Um, but I feel like if you are in separation, it hasn't been going on for a super long time. For a lot of you, I feel like this is a relatively new thing. Do you know what I mean? Um, okay, the Seven of Swords here. This card a lot of times represents deception, betrayal, some sort of sneaky behavior. 
Um, I'm seeing this here as somebody trying to slip away from this connection, like your person trying to sneak away from you or trying to run and hide from you for some reason. Um, this person maybe was not the most honest or forthcoming with you in the past. Um, I do get with the Knight of Wands here that they may have been a little bit of a player with you or they might have been um they may have been unwilling or reluctant to like really commit to your relationship or settle down with the connection i feel like this person may have been uh talking to other people flirting with other people um some sort of involvement with others while they were also involved with you and that led to some friction in this connection um and i feel like a lot of you have as a result of that maybe started to feel like this person didn't actually have any feelings for you maybe you've started to wonder if this person was just taking advantage of you using you in some way um, you know, unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I don't feel that that's necessarily the case in this situation, however. I don't feel like this person um, actually doesn't have feelings for you. Do you know what I mean? Um, I just get from this person, like, some level of immaturity. Um, I get a lot of fire energy here. I mean, we do have the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, um, the Sagittarius card. That's Those are all fire cards. Um, so a lot of you may be dealing with someone who is a fire sign or someone who has a lot of fire energy in their chart. Um, but even if that's not the case, you know, I, I get a lot of that kind of energy here, like fire energy is intense. It's very, it can be very passionate um kind of unpredictable kind of changeable fluctuating um i see this person like unable to focus on one thing or one person i see them you know their attention flitting back and forth between multiple things do you know what i mean um for most of you i feel their attention was going back and forth with multiple people like i mentioned i get that there was some sort of third party involved possibly even like a fourth and fifth party as well um but i feel i want to say okay hold on I'm going to pull some clarifying cards here because I want to um, I want to try to get a little bit more of this story. It seems to me like this person that we're talking about does have feelings for you, like they do care about you, but they haven't shown you that they haven't behaved that way. You know, they haven't behaved as if they do care about you. Their behavior has not reflected their true feelings okay we have the queen of coins the page of swords reversed and the ten of cups page of swords reversed this is like somebody who is unable to speak their truth um, someone who's unable to communicate something a message that's being blocked or delayed in some way um, the queen of coins is here as well as the queen of wands I kind of feel as though your person that you're thinking about is seeing you in this way. The Queen of Coins is generally someone who's very loving and gentle and compassionate, um, also grounded. The Queen of Wands is, <laughs> the Queen of Wands is, um, again, that fire energy, very passionate about things, very confident, very capable. Um, she's also a manifester. She knows what she wants and she knows how to get it. She knows how to make her dreams reality. Um, so I kind of feel like these two cards are representing like the way this person sees you or, you know, how they perceive you to be. And it, it, it doesn't really matter if you're male or female or what. 
Um, this is just energy, okay? Um, so don't get hung up on, like, gender or anything like that. Um, but this person finds you to be very, very appealing in a lot of ways. Um, and the Ten of Cups, this is wish fulfillment. This is unconditional love. Um, this card also relates to family, happy home life, that kind of thing. I feel that this person has had and does have pretty strong feelings for you. The King of Cups is also talking to me about that. This card is kind of similar to the Ten. Um, this is a very loving, very, um, this is a, like, this is a very deep emotional attachment that I get with this card. So this person has had, and they do still have some pretty strong feelings towards you. But like I said, they did not express that to you for whatever reason, they kept it to themselves. Maybe they maybe they were intimidated by you, they were afraid to say something, uh, maybe they just wanted to, maybe they just weren't ready yet to express themselves to you, because going back to that Knight of Wands, I feel like they, you know, this is somebody who's very non-committal, someone who is just going from one thing to another, just having a good time, um, so maybe they weren't ready yet to act on those feelings and, and start something or get something going with you. Um, but something happened, obviously. Something has happened between the two of you. Or, okay, let me back up. I guess I should say their thoughts about this situation have changed. Um, I think they have recognized, I think they know, and, and they've, they've figured this out recently, but I think they know that their behavior, their actions were in some way hurtful to you, because I, I honestly get the sense that many of you distanced yourselves from this person. Um, like you pulled away from them or you saw this person, you know, going around doing their thing, just having a good time. And so you decided not to really pursue them. You decided to just kind of see what happened. Um, and so I feel like since, since that distancing has occurred, they've figured some things out about this connection. It's like, it's like they didn't realize before how you felt about what they were doing, or they didn't see the effects that their behavior was having on you, because I feel like a lot of you were in some way hurt by their behavior. You know, you, like I was saying with this card, many of you, it seems, felt like they didn't care about you. You, you may have felt like they had no feelings, that they were being callous and just uncaring towards you. Um, I don't think they ever intended to come across that way. I don't think they ever intended to make you think that they didn't care or that they weren't interested, but they've realized now that they were being kind of stupid and immature, and I feel as though they're regretting that. Um, the New Life card, this is about new beginnings, obviously. When it is reversed, this card tends to, um, it's, it's like a tentative new beginning. It's like, what I'm seeing, like the, the imagery that I'm seeing here is someone, your person, wanting to have a fresh start with you, okay? 
the person wanting to have a fresh start, but they're a little bit afraid to approach you. And that's because they feel bad about the way they've acted. They feel bad for inadvertently hurting your feelings or making you feel unwanted, um, etc. And so it's like this is something they want, like they want to reach out to you, but right now they're very, um, they're, they're afraid. They're basically, they're, they're afraid to do so. Um, because they know that you deserve better than what they were giving you in the past. And I think now that they, they want to like make it up to you in some way, but they're not quite sure how, and they're not quite sure if you would be receptive to letting them do that. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, hmm. We have the Ace of Swords coming up here, um, clarifying this card, which is about the shifting cycles um, and going with the flow, surrender, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, the Ace of Swords really is about new beginnings as well. All Aces are, and Swords relate very much to communication and honesty and insight and that kind of thing. So this, to me, definitely is representing a message coming through, some communication happening between the two of you. Um, I don't know that this is going to happen real soon, um, just because this card, you know, it talks about <clears throat> letting things unfold naturally in their own time, going with the flow, not trying to rush things or control the process. Um, so, I, I don't know that this is going to happen soon. Um, it seems like this person is undergoing some changes in their life. Yeah. Four of coins reversed. This is like letting go of something. Um, letting go of something that's not really serving you. Ten of wands, same thing. Letting go of something that's not really serving you. This card a lot of times is about releasing some kind of burden, releasing something that's weighing you down in some way. So I feel like this person is making a lot of changes in their life and in their lifestyle as well. Um, the lighting in here keeps changing, so sorry about that. Um, but yeah, changing, changing their lifestyle, changing their behaviors, um, and really thinking about what they want evaluating their priorities, figuring out what's really important to them and, and what they truly want here. Um, and so I think for most of you, your person is going to come to the conclusion that they need to at least give you some kind of apology. They need to at least try to make things right with you um, and let you know that, you know, the way they treated you before wasn't really fair and that they're sorry for it. And I think the majority of you, your person is gonna want to be friends again. They're probably gonna want to try to take things further than that, you know, if, if this was a romantic interest, um, which I feel for most of you it was. But um, I, do, I do see this person reaching out to you. And as far as the timing goes, we have the Four of Wands here. Um, I would say sometime in April, probably later in the month for most of you. Um, and that's just based on, you know, the current trajectory of the situation. And also this is just a general reading, so keep that in mind as well. It's not gonna be exactly the same for everybody. But group number one, that's what I have for you today. I hope this was helpful. I hope that this was interesting and I hope it resonated with you. Um, if something doesn't fit into your situation, don't try to make it fit. Um, this is just general, like I said, 
So not everything is going to apply to every person who picked this group. Um, so take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And I hope I see you next time. Bye. All right, group number two. Let's find out if you are going to hear from your person. Will they text you? Will they call you? Will you be hearing from them again? So we're going to start with your tarot cards. We have here the tower. We have the page of cups reversed. We have strength reversed and we have the nine of cups and your Oracle cards. We've got, let's see. Emotions are running high, super moon card. We have the soulmate card. We also have let go. You guys got two of these cards. We've got worth waiting for, and this could be the one. And we also have the deep knowing card. So, first of all, um, right away, uh, the answer that I'm getting here is yes. You guys will be hearing from this person again in the future. Um, hmm. I feel like you and this person, group two, I feel like you and this person have experienced a lot together. I mean, we've got the soulmate card showing up here. This card says your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe that they believe this and they will manifest physically. Um, so this card is kind of obvious. We also have the deep knowing card, which is about intuition, um, insight. This card comes up a lot in situations where there is some kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? There is some kind of spiritual element to a relationship or a situation, um, you know, something like that. We've also got the strength card. Strength is considered to be one of the soulmate cards. We have the infinity symbol here. Um, this obviously represents things that are enduring, things that persist for a long period of time. And that's the nature of soul connections. These are things that don't just go away. These are things that last forever, um, pretty much. So we have uh, several cards here that talk to me about soulmate connections, soulmate relationships, also worth waiting for divine timing is at work. Um, this is another card that comes up a lot when uh, there is some sort of soul connection going on between two people um, because it talks about divine timing and divine guidance. Um, and this could be the one. This is another card that for me comes up a lot in these uh, with these types of relationships. Um, you know, even though we have more than one soulmate. Um, these are the people that we connect with best. These are the people that we uh, understand best and they understand us best. You know what I mean? So we have a lot of like soulmate energy going on here, obviously. Um, this person, this person's not going to be able to stay away from you forever. Uh, this person is going to be coming back around. Um, we'll talk about timing in a few minutes here. Um, but first, I want to say you two have experienced a lot together in this lifetime, but also in previous lifetimes. Um, We've got the tower card. I mean, this is major, major unexpected changes. This is crisis, upheaval. Um, this is like your world, your expectations crumbling around you. Uh, I feel that there has been some sort of tower moment within this relationship in the past. Um, also, emotions are running high. This is like, generally, this is like emotional, I don't want to say turmoil because this isn't always indicative of difficulty of, you know, pain or anything like that. But, you know, as the card says, it does represent very strong feelings, very, very emotional situations. 
and relationships and that kind of thing. So something has gone on between the two of you that um, has been very emotional for you both. Um, conflict. Some sort of conflict. Not necessarily between the two of you, but somebody has had some inner conflict as well. Probably your person. Um, the Page of Cups, this card in general talks about offers or messages of love and emotions, expressing oneself um, in the reverse position. This is a message or an offer that is being blocked or delayed somehow. So I feel as though, honestly, I feel like you and this person, even though you do have some history together, I, I don't really get the impression that many of you have actually been in a relationship with this person. I feel like most of you maybe were on that path, but it never really panned out. Like you never actually were able to get involved with each other in that kind of way. Like I feel for most of you, there was never truly a commitment. There was never truly an exclusive thing going on. Um, and that may have been because this person was unable to really embrace their feelings for you or they were unable to express them to you for some reason. Um, the Nine of Cups, this card tells me that this person really sees you as like the ideal partner, the ideal person, like you have what they're looking for. And this card tells me the same thing. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Um, this person sees you as like life partner material like you check off all of their boxes you have everything that they look for in a potential partner and um so you might be thinking like okay so what's the problem then <sighs> the problem i feel i'm gonna pull some clarifiers um just to make sure i understand what they're saying here because I don't want to start talking about something and then be like off. Um, so give me one second here. The nine of pentacles reversed. Seven of cups reversed. King of cups. This person has like a self-love issue. Hmm. Oh, okay. The Page of Swords is here, um, right on the top of the deck. Um, okay. I feel like this person is, was unable to really communicate their feelings to you, what they wanted to you. Um, because this connection is something special to them. They understand that, like they get that, they recognize that. This person has a lot of love for you, I feel. King of Cups, this is like unconditional love and compassion and understanding. This person has a desire to understand you and be close to you and have that strong bond with you. Um, but I really feel like this person is just not ready to be in a relationship like this because it's like this person right now does not have the, <sighs> hmm, how do I want to say this? Uh, with the strength card being reversed here, you know, in the upright, this is about resilience, um, willpower, determination, uh, also like self-restraint, inner strength, but in the reverse position, it's like someone who doesn't have a lot of inner strength. It's like someone who doesn't have a firm, like, understanding of themselves, someone who's not really in tune with themselves. Um, does that make sense? <laughs> I feel like 
I feel like they're unable to accept this connection right now. Because they don't have... Okay, it's like a self-sabotaging kind of energy that I get here. Um, this person, I feel kind of sabotaged this connection because they felt as though they were not really deserving of it. Um, they felt as though they needed something more like what they're used to. And I feel what they're used to is relationships that may not be super healthy, relationships that are more mundane. Um, and unfortunately, that's something that happens to many people who are brand new to like soulmate relationships, especially higher level ones. Um, yeah, it, it really feels like this was sabotage. This person is sabotaging themselves, but also this connection as a, as a result. And so for that reason, um, like I mentioned already, I don't really feel like this person is going to be contacting you soon. Um, the let go card is here and worth waiting for, like we talked about already. I feel as though there's going to be a little bit of a wait before you hear from this person again. And I think... Hold on. Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands. Um, I want to say September. September is coming through pretty strongly for me right now. Um, so I feel for a lot of you it's going to be September. We've got two nines, actually three nines here. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands. Um, so I'm feeling September for many of you. Um, and I think that's because this person just has a lot of things that they need to work through within themselves before they're going to be ready to stop sabotaging and just embrace this thing, embrace their feelings and embrace this connection for what it is. Do you know what I mean? Um, if you are not watching this around the time that it was uploaded, then I would say it still would probably be a few months before you hear from this person, probably five or six months, so whatever, whenever that would be from the time you're watching this. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that is my estimate based on how things are going currently. You know, the future is always subject to change because we have free will. Um, but based on the current trajectory of the situation, it's looking like September or five to six months from now. Um, so, yeah, I think this person will reach out to you, but it's going to be a bit of a wait. And I think that's why this let go card is here, because they're saying, you know, you don't need to wait around for anybody. Um, if, if you are happy on your own and you're just doing your thing, that's one thing, but like, waiting for one specific person to become available to you that's that's not that's not really the the best approach to a situation like this um so i think that's that's why the let go card is here it's just saying you know um there's no need to cling to this because clinging is not going to do you any good you know at the end of the day, it's going to leave you feeling exhausted and burnt out and, you know, disillusioned with the whole thing. So just be careful of that. Um, I think that's going to do it for you guys, group two. That's really all the messages that I'm getting for you at the moment. Um, I hope that this resonated with you. I hope this was interesting. This is just a general reading, so um, take what applies to you and leave the rest behind.
If something doesn't fit with your situation, don't try to make it fit. Um, if you want a reading that is tailored specifically to you and your situation, I do offer private readings. The links to my Etsy store and my personal website are below in the description and in the comment section. So if you're interested, you can check those out and all the information you need to know about ordering will be in those links. So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. And I hope I see you next time. Bye. All right, group three, let's find out if you will hear from your person again. So we're going to start with your tarot cards. Um, what we have here is the Hermit reversed. We have the Seven of Pentacles reversed. We've got the World and the Chariot. So let me fix this curtain a little bit. Okay. Your oracle cards, we've got your dreams need a practical plan. We've got the no card. We've got surrender and here and now and pay attention to the red flags. Okay, so Hmm. Well, um, <laughs> group three, right here in the center of your spread is the no card. And this is no with an exclamation point. Um, there is just a plain no card in this deck as well. But this is a very emphatic no. Um, so... What I'm getting with these cards is a lot of, well, I get a lot of red flags, to, to put it simply. I mean, we have pay attention to the red flags. This card says, the signs are cautioning you. We also have, your dreams need a practical plan. This card, I like to interpret as, you know, you may have an idea, you may have a goal in mind, but there's something, something needs to be adjusted, something needs to change before this goal is going to become uh, something that you're going to be able to reach. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you may need to readjust your expectations, you may need to take a more realistic or grounded, practical approach to the situation, um, something along those lines. Uh, the surrender card, this is about letting go. The card says, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So we have a lot of energy here that is talking to me about, basically, basically I feel that as of right now, Based on the current trajectory of this situation, I feel it is pretty unlikely that you will be hearing from this person that you're thinking of. Um, at least not any time in the foreseeable future. This doesn't necessarily mean that you will never ever hear from them again for as long as you live. Um, because like, we can't really make predictions that far ahead um, because the future is so changeable, it is determined by our actions because we have free will and all of that stuff. But um, as far as I can see, I don't see this person contacting you, unfortunately. Um, Hermit card here, this is reversed. Um, in general, this card is about isolation. It's about withdrawal, somebody going within, uh, keeping to themselves. This is usually somebody who wants to be left alone, left to their own devices. And when it is in the reverse position, it really takes on, uh, for me, it really takes on a, a sadder, lonelier kind of energy than it does in the upright position. This is, it's almost like an energy of exile, like a self-imposed kind of exile. Um, we also have the Seven of Pentacles reversed. This is about 
slowness, slow movement. Um, this card talks to me about frustration. This card talks to me about a lack of progress in a situation, like things really stagnating, things just not moving forward. Um, the world, this card is all about cycles. It's about endings, completion. This is uh, something coming to a close. And the chariot here is also about movement. Um, in the relationship context, this can mean a couple different things. In general, it shows us, you know, either if, if things are going well, this would indicate typically like a relationship moving forward to people uh, overcoming problems together, overcoming obstacles together. If things are not going so well, however, um, this would suggest to me something more along the lines of somebody moving away from a relationship or somebody moving on from a relationship. Um, so with all of that said, it really feels to me like this person you're thinking of has detached from this connection and they are trying to move forward from it. Um, the Here and Now card, this is about mindfulness. It's about keeping your attention focused on the present moment, you know, not getting caught up in, you know, thinking about the past, not getting caught up in worrying about the future, but just being in the present moment. And I feel like that's kind of what this person is doing. It seems to me like this person has really withdrawn into themselves and I feel like you know obviously it, it's looking like they have withdrawn from you but I feel as though they've probably also withdrawn from other people as well um, because it just it just seems to me like I was okay I was gonna say it seems like this person is going through it right now um, there's definitely something that's holding them back. There's definitely something that's blocking this person from opening up and, and being able to engage with this connection. Um, the specific blockage, the specific thing that's causing that it's going to be different for all of you, obviously, because this is just general. Um, but I feel for many of you, this could have been a karmic relationship, a karmic connection. Um, you may not necessarily have actually been in a true relationship with this person. Um, but whatever the case, I feel like this is something that has run its course. I feel like this is something that has prompted some sort of change, some sort of growth or evolution within the people involved, you and the other person, perhaps to different extents, but still. Um, and the lessons that you guys are meant to learn from each other, they have been like initiated. Those learning processes have been initiated and it's like the connection itself has served its purpose. Does that make sense? That's um, that's the feeling that I get with these cards here, uh, because it really feels as though, I mean, with the world being here, it, it, this is endings. This is completion. This is something that has run its course and come to a close. This is a cycle that has reached its end. And I feel that your person is walking away from this connection with some new insights, some knowledge, some understanding that they did not have before. And I feel like you're going to be able to do the same thing. Um, but the thing is, a lot of you, 
a lot of you maybe had certain expectations about where this connection was going to go. And I feel like a lot of you maybe were trying to manifest something with this person and it hasn't worked out. And see, it's tough because I can feel that for a number of you, this connection was really important to you and you really wanted this to go somewhere specific. And unfortunately, I just don't see that happening. I feel that there may have been some red flags in this connection that you um, maybe didn't notice or maybe just ignored for whatever reason, because maybe because you really wanted this to work out um, in a certain way. The spirit is telling me this is not right for you, at least not right now. Like I said, this doesn't mean you will never, ever, ever hear from this person again. It doesn't mean you will never, ever, ever meet again. It just means for the foreseeable future, right? Everything is going to work out the way that it's supposed to, okay? Take some solace in that. I know it may not be a very comforting thought at the moment, but just know that everything will work out the way that it is supposed to, the way that it is meant to, okay? Um, and that's that's really all that I'm getting for you, pile number three. Um I hope that this resonated with you. I hope it was helpful to you. Um, this is just general. So, you know, if something doesn't fit in your situation, don't try to make it fit. If this didn't sound like your situation, if it didn't sound right to you, then it wasn't your message. And, you know, take what applies to you and leave the rest behind, right? So, um, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And, um, I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye. Okay, and lastly is group four. Let's see if you will hear from your person again. The lighting in here keeps changing and it's driving me crazy. Okay, we're gonna start with your tarot cards. Um, the first card we have is the Four of Wands. We also have the High Priestess. We have death, and we've got the queen of cups. So there's that. Your oracle cards are, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. This card, which says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Big happy changes. very soon and clean it up okay so um right away i feel as though you group number four will be hearing from the person you're thinking about and i feel that this will be happening pretty soon um the very soon card clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now um Obviously, this is suggesting that uh, your person is going to be reaching out to you in the near future. And by that, I mean I, probably, hmm, well, okay, we'll come back to the timing <laughs> at the end. Um, I want to talk about these other cards first. So it seems to me like you have some history with this person. I am getting that there has been some conflict in this connection. 
um, in the past. And I actually feel like a lot of you probably have been in separation from this person for quite some time. Um, just because it feels like whatever conflicts, like any, any difficulty in this relationship, it feels like it, it it's, it's very distant. It feels like it happened a very long time ago, or it's, like the two of you are no longer affected by it. Like you've moved on from it. Does that make sense? Um, because the energy that I get here overall is very positive. And I feel like you and this person have a lot of good feelings towards one another. Um, so if that doesn't sound right, then this is not your pile. And I suggest picking maybe a different one. Um, because this energy feels really good. This energy feels positive. It feels as though any negativity, any hard feelings have been released already, um, or you're in the process of releasing them. Um, clean it up. This is about doing away with anything and everything that is not serving your highest good. Um, I feel as though this is something you know, it's it's going along with this card. That's something that you've been doing. It's something that you will have an opportunity to continue doing with this person in the future. Um, big happy changes. This card is kind of self-explanatory. This is saying this connection that you're thinking about is going to be undergoing some very significant positive changes in the near future. And um, the Four of Wands here, this is unity and harmony. This card talks to me about two people who are really in alignment with each other, two people who are on the same page, in balance with one another. Um, the High Priestess, this card tends to represent the unknown, things that are hidden, um, secrets being revealed, insight, clarity, wisdom, that kind of thing. The death card is about endings, but it's also about new beginnings. It's transformation. It's very significant change and transformation. And the Queen of Cups, this card represents strong uh, emotional bonds between people. This card also is about intuition and insight and the subconscious. Um, this card, I relate a lot to like soulmate connections. Also, the High Priestess and the Four of Wands are considered to be um, soulmate cards, or they can represent soulmate relationships, or, you know, they, they just tend to come up a lot in those types of situations. Um, and death, too, to some extent. So, also, with the Queen of Cups, um, usually I see this as some sort of offer being made. You can see she's holding out this heart, like she's extending it to the viewer. Um, so I see this as like an offer, like she's offering up her love, she's offering up her feelings, she's offering up, you know, her emotions to someone else. And so, I really feel that you and the person you're thinking of will be having a new beginning. I feel like you will be having a fresh start after a pretty significant separation. Um, this card, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. I feel like you two have, okay, you and this person are, seem to be a bit further along on the, you know, soulmate, twin flame, whatever journey than many people are, because I feel like you've both done a lot of inner work and you've both made a lot of significant changes in your own lives, within yourselves, and you've both surrendered to the process and you've both done what needed to be done. And so now, Spirit is bringing you back together because the time is right. This is all coming back together now. You stopped trying to control the situation. You stopped trying to rush the process. You stopped clinging to the expectation, clinging to the hopes of being with this person again. You let go of all of that and instead you started to focus on what was really important. 
and so now you're being rewarded for that you're you're reaping the benefits you're getting the payoff of doing all of that does that make sense do you know what i mean so um i want to pull out maybe a couple more cards and see if there's anything else that they want to add and i also need to um get some timing here for you guys I know very soon um, is kind of obvious, but okay, we have the Page of Cups here, and whoa, that is a few too many cards. And the Magician, okay. So, um, Page of Cups, Magician. These two cards also relate to new beginnings. Um, pages are the first of the court cards, so they have this new, fresh kind of energy to them. The Magician is number one in the Major Arcana, um, and it's about manifestation, creating something new. Uh, so there's a lot of new, fresh energy here. And so I am... Okay. For some of you, I feel it like this communication is going to come in around the beginning of summer, which I know that's still a couple months away. Um, so it's not like soon, soon for some of you. Um, but for others of you, I feel like this is really just a matter of weeks, possibly like the beginning of April or the beginning of May. I would say within somewhere, in general, somewhere within that like April, May, June time frame. Um, and it's going to be, you know, it's going to vary a little bit for everyone. Um, but that's what I'm getting as far as timing goes. I really feel like you guys have done a lot of hard work. And you're about to see, you're about to reap the rewards for all of that work and, and effort. Um, so, you know, group four, I would say keep doing what you've been doing. Keep, keep on keeping on. And um, I feel like things are going to be going very well for you in the future with this person. Um, you've learned a lot about yourselves and that's important. That's what is bringing about this reunion um and i feel that the two of you have a very bright future ahead of you there's there's a lot of potential for that um if if you choose that you know and group four that's really all the messages that i'm getting for you guys this one was a little bit shorter i think than the others but you know there's there's not really a ton to be said here um, it's all pretty straightforward as, as far as I can see. Um, so I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, I hope that this resonated with you. I hope that this was interesting. And, um, you know, this is just a general reading. So take what applies to you and your situation and leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. If you want a reading that is tailored to you and your situation, I do offer private readings. The links to my Etsy store and my personal website will be in the description and the comment section below, so you can check those out if you're interested. I really appreciate you joining me today, and I hope I see you next time. Bye!